Hey everybody, Nate Lee here, and I'm gonna share with you a trick that will make you sound more advanced or more professional very, very quickly. And I call it the mandolin slide. It sounds like this, or this, or this. And it's something that is used very commonly by bluegrass mandolin players and also in related styles. And it allows you to take an arrangement that sounds like it comes from a beginner or intermediate mandolin book and make it sound like an advanced arrangement or even a professional arrangement. So let's jump in. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So if you've learned from beginner or intermediate mandolin books, you've probably spent a lot of time playing repeated open strings in order to fill space. So you might have learned an arrangement that sounds like this. And most of what's there is great, uh, but if you listen to that, it doesn't sound like what a pro would play. This part does. Even this does. But all of this, it's not doing it. You're not going to sound like a pro doing that. It's going to sound like it comes straight from a beginner or intermediate mandolin book. And you don't want to sound like that, I'm guessing, or you <laughs> wouldn't be watching mandolin videos trying to improve your sound. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do to improve that sound. What we're going to do is instead of playing just a wimpy open string repeatedly, we're going to play unison notes, meaning we're going to play the same note in two different places. It's the exact same note in the exact same octave. So if you've got a long string of open E notes, you can add seven on the A. It's the same note. Try it on your mandolin. If you're in tune, and if your mandolin's set up properly, you're gonna notice that it's exactly the same note. I can't stop because it's too fun. There we go, I missed. <laughs> That's a logical place to stop. Um, I'm lazy with editing, so I won't edit that out. You can see the, the all the mistakes <laughs> as they happen. So this is unison E notes here, and that we're halfway to making the mandolin slide. So if you want to make the mandolin slide, you just slide in to that seventh fret of the A string while you play the open E. We call that droning when you have an open string that you're playing along with a note on a non-open string. So we're going to slide first from five to seven. That's the most common way to do this. So you play both the A and the E strings. You've got open E, and on the A string, you fly, you fly, <laughs> you slide from five to seven. I do have, this maybe is why this slip. I have a big picture right here of the spruce goose, because I was reading up on it some yesterday after encountering it in a book and a friend telling me about it. So uh, yeah, the mandolin fly. I've got this big, beautiful spruce goose on my large monitor <laughs> here. Um, that would be a great name for a mandolin. Name your mandolin the Spruce Goose. That'd be pretty cool, especially like with a goose inlay. Mm, I have to think about this. Maybe Pava will make me a Spruce Goose, but that you know works better. Because <laughs> uh, the Spruce Goose didn't. <laughs> anyway, I digress, but I can't help myself. Um, I just, you know, have ADD. So back to why we're here. We're sliding from five to seven on the A string while droning the open E, and you're now doing the mandolin slide. You can do this with a single pick stroke, or you can play it over and over. So now instead of this sound, we can replace all those open E's with this, and it sounds like this. Instantly, way more professional sounding. Now we could also replace all those repeated open A's. We can replace that with still the open A, but sliding into seven of the D. So sliding from five on the D to seven on the D while playing your open A with it. Just like that. Well, if we take that and replace all those open A's 
in this song, then now it sounds even more professional. We went from this to this. So already way more professional sound. Now you can do the mandolin slide from five to seven, or you can also slide from four to seven is a le less common, but still cool sound to make. You can do this on any pair of strings and you can slide from five to seven or four to seven. You could even experiment with other slides, uh, but then you get into a different type of sound. Uh, it's different than the mandolin slide. So that's how you use the mandolin slide. Anywhere you've got a long string of only an open string, replace it with the mandolin slide. There's one last little trick is sometimes you're gonna get up there and you're gonna get stuck. You need to be somewhere else and you're up here and you can't get there. And you finish your last upstroke and you're here and you need to be there. Well, here's the trick. You can make your very last stroke only the open string. I call this an open string escape. So you make your last note only the open string. Like that. Now you've got time to shift your hand anywhere you want. And nobody will be able to tell the difference. Even though that last note I played, I only played open E. In context, it, it's unnoticeable. You fool your listener's ear into hearing a double stop when there isn't one, and you're going to fool your own ear as well. So that is the mandolin slide, and then a whole long thing about the spruce goose. Um, <laughs> can't help myself. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, I've got a few lesson times on my calendar for this month, and I put up a few every month. So you can go and sign up for that at playnately.com. And if you're new to this channel, then uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to grow this channel, and it'd be great if more people like you watched these videos. Also, click that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure to follow this page, share this post, and click that like button for the Facebook algorithm. And... Right now, if you go to strummachine.com slash Nate, you can get 30 days free of Strum Machine so that you have something, something to practice your mandolin slides with. All right, everybody, feel free to request topics down there in the comments. Tell me if you've used this slide before, if it's brand new, what you think of it, how it's worked for you, if you've had trouble with it, or if you found it easy. All right, everybody, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.